the best way to answer a question is honestly and succinctly. And he was asked if he thinks the Bears are close to finding a starting offensive line. His answer, no. I think I really like Luke Getze. Because so far, this may change. He's been plenty honest about what it is that he's working with. And I appreciate a coach that isn't going to, oh, well, you know, the guys are, they're working hard and, yeah, we'll get a five that we really, really, no, <laughs> no. You've seen it. You're looking at our practices every day. You know this guy is trash and this guy, no. He told you everything you needed to know about where the Bears offensive line is in one syllable. He also says that Tevin Jenkins has been in meetings and he described him as all in. Okay. All right. That's good to hear because Eberflus was saying that he was only there to work with the trainers. So I needed to hear that he was actually at meetings because if he's going to be on your team, he needs to be at meetings even if he's unhealthy. He also says the offense is about finished with the installation phase. I guess they were doing cards today, scout team work against three fours. Which is defenses, interesting. Which is very early in camp to do scout team. Very early. And when you don't have a five to protect it. Right. It's a little interesting. Our Chris Emma tweeted this. Luke Getze said he does not see the Bears close to solidifying a starting offensive line as they continue to evaluate. Quote, you'll see different combinations into preseason until we feel really good about where we're at. Close quote. And Adam John says Braxton Jones played every snap at left tackle with the first offense. Yeah, that seems to be, he seems to be the, him and Cody Whitehair seem to be the two guys that you can pretty much pencil them in at their spots, and then you work around with everyone else. Take this quote however you want, but Getze said their offense is going to need Cole Komet to be a rock star. Yes, which is a fear of mine. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> It's a fear of mine that they will need him to be a rock star. I was kind of hoping that he could, you know, develop into that without there being the... I haven't seen that yet. I, I, I haven't I, either. I haven't seen a flash of that yet. I, if you're talking like George Kittle, Darren Waller, well, Travis he's no, Kelsey... He's not... No, You can't be Darren Waller. Because like, you don't have the, the physical, but those are the three rock stars, I, right? Yeah, is he Mike Gesicki? I'd be, I'd be over the moon if okay. he were Mike Gesicki. Okay, that, that guy is a threat, and that's what you want Cole Komet to be. It can't just be well. He's out here to help set an edge on a run play. That's part of it. That's what Kittle does, and what what he does really well. He's got to be able to get off of that stuff and be a weapon inside this passing game. More on Tevin Jenkins. Getze was asked, has Jenkins been an active participant in meetings? His answer, quote here, Adam Hogue quotes him, oh yeah, Tevin has been great. He's been attentive. He's all in. Yeah, once he gets through this deal, he'll be back out there ready to rock and roll. So that's an offensive coordinator who seems to feel like he has a place on his team. Mm -hmm. So what's wrong what's with What's going him? on? Where are his legs? He, Andrew Vaughn is wearing his legs so that he can play a bad right field. Maybe that's it. Maybe you've got tackle leg, and that's why you can't I, run and catch the ball. We presume it's his back because it's always been his back, and he had surgery on his back last year, and last year they lied about all of it until they stopped lying about it. Well, I mean, they're lying about this too. They're just not telling us what it is, and they're telling us that, there, he's there with the trainers, and then there are reports from the NFL Network, not like from you or I, from the NFL Network saying that you, you're trying to trade him. So until we see him out on the field, what are we supposed to believe? But it is definitely a step in the right direction that he is at least a part of the meetings that are going on at Hallis Hall. Because if you have a player that's not doing anything football-related, I think that it's difficult to even try and move that player. Or are they, are they just saying this Maybe. to keep the value, to, to, to send the message to other teams that he's still worth sending a late pick for? 
Maybe. And they just told everybody stay on message when asked. Getsy went on when asked about Aaron Rodgers taking psychedelics, quote, I was not invited on those trips. Hey, whatever it takes, I guess. <laughs> okay. And, and then when asked, would you like to be invited? Getsy went, eh, and walked off. Come on. Like, what's he? That, I, I kind of feel bad for him there. What's he supposed to say? Yeah, I, I don't want to be invited on those trips because it's Aaron Rodgers. Right. But maybe if you don't have Aaron Rodgers with you, it might be interesting. 